Hi, this is video number two on my DX Commander all band vertical installation, which is a semi permanent setup at home. Uh, I'm a, a, a returning ham uh, back to the hobby after a 30 year break, uh, so still a bit of a novice, uh, and just uh, putting some videos out showing my uh, exploits with DX Commander. If you haven't seen my first video, then you may find it useful. If you already have or are considering purchasing this HF multiband vertical, which is an excellent antenna, by the way, as is the post support you receive from Callum, uh, who is the designer and manufacturer. So this short video is to show my experiences of SWR readings across the bands, both at initial build uh, and final installation, uh, and that includes an inline choke that I decided to install. So when I first built and installed the antenna, I simply laid the radials on the lawn and these SWR readings were taken at that point. I've colour coded the results so green represents SWR readings of 1.5 to 1 and below, amber is 1.6 to 2.9 and red is 3 to 1 and above. Uh, these are readings taken from the shack end of a run of RG213 coax and show nice low SWR readings from 40 metres to 15 metres. I don't know why, but 1.8 to 1 is the lowest I could achieve on 12 metres and there wasn't a lower point hiding just out of the top of the band. Having said that, I trimmed the element to achieve the lowest SWR at the top of the band. Looks fine to me. Clearly, 10 metres is a very bad band to cover, so again, I was happy with the low readings in the middle and top ends of the band. You could easily move these to the lower end of the band by extending the radiating element to resonate better on a low frequency. So, all in all, a very good result, and the vast majority of frequencies do not require an ATU, and those few that do are easily managed by the transceivers built in ATU. Uh, in my current configuration, uh, my DX Commander doesn't have the add-on 80 meter element as yet, hence the gap at the top of the table. Uh, this is something I'm planning to test out in coming weeks, so hopefully I'll be able to post some more information to help out others. Uh, you'll notice when I took uh, these initial build me readings, I forgot to test 6 metres, as at that time I didn't realise it covered 6, even though Callum's comprehensive build notes do mention 6 metres. So after around uh, a month or so, I got round to burying the radials under the lawn after successfully operating the antenna. At the same time, uh, I tried out an RF choke at the feed point of the DX Commander. Uh, I did this because my other antenna, which is an off-centre-fed dipole, uh, had been suffering RX on the coax braid and causing occasional laptop and monitor issues back in the shack. Uh, I'd built a choke which solved the issue for the dipole, so while I had all the parts in front of me, uh, I built a second one for the DX Commander while I was at it. Uh, but it's worth pointing out that I have no RF issues with the DX Commander whatsoever, uh, but it seems general good practice to have a, a choke in line. However, before I chopped my precious new RG213.5, I double-checked the choke, had a neutral effect on the antenna by connecting it directly to the DX Commander base first. Uh, I didn't want the choke to be permanently in this position as it would have been a trip hazard on my lawn. Uh, anyway, it confirmed that there was neglig negligible effect on the SWR, as you can see uh, by this next shot of the revised version of the SWR table. So the original no choke with radial on the lawn measurements are on the left of this picture and the revised readings on the right are with the choke in line and the radials buried about one centimetre or half an inch under the lawn. The choke is now permanently about five metres along the coax away from the base of the antenna. Uh, and you can see uh, very little has changed with just a few minor movements either way which could just be down to, to my error in measuring such small variations. So all, all excellent all round. Uh, and this time you can see I remembered to measure 6 metres uh, and you can see that that is a usable band 2 on the DX Commander. So to, to wrap up, I hope this uh, video has been of use to somebody, uh, anybody, uh, and I'll try and post a video on my choke uh, and also my exploits with adding 80 metres to the DX Commander. Uh, thanks for watching.